Hey guys, um, you obviously know who this is. <coughs> For you who don't, um, it's Jason from Forex Varsity. And today I'm going to show you, usually usually when I've done quite a few videos and it's and I've been keeping track of how it's been going and how what videos I've been implementing and posting onto the Dropbox and everything. So before I start, I just want you to guys, if you have any suggestions, please do feel free to email me or pop onto the chat room or phone in because I want to, I obviously want to go through the more advanced side and more advanced details and aspects with regards to trading but I also want to, I don't want to go, I don't want you guys to run before you can walk. So say for example I teach you guys how to use a stochastic in a more advanced way. I, I want you and you a few of you may not know how to use it in the first place, the basics of it. So please do ask me um, or suggest, give me suggestions of what I can do. Um, yeah, thanks for that. And I've been, during the chat room, when I when we send out the WhatsApp, we usually go through and we say come into the chat room. When the people who do come on, I obviously make a short and sweet for those people so they with regards to the people in the chat room, but I do touch on it in the videos, okay, so you're not missing out on anything, but please do um, come onto the chat room when, when we send out the WhatsApp, because it'll be better if everybody asks questions with regards to the topic that I'm choosing, okay, and then everybody can just also bounce ideas off of each other, and ask questions off of each other as well. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to accurately place a stop loss. I remember last week I did the um, take profit. Now, as I said with the stop uh, take profit last week, I stated that you can't, you can't just, you have to implement it. So I show you several ways. You have to use as many ways as possible. The reason for that is you want to exit at the best time possible and you're not going to just use um, one of one out of those several reasons to exit you want to make it foolproof and solid enough to to um, to basically give yourself a extra confirmation that it is going to work because as I said exactly the same as a take profits with a stop loss I'm going to show you I think two or three ways um, but that's all you need Okay, if you implement it and everything adds up together as as normal as we analyze for buy or sell, it's exactly the same. You don't just want to buy on the basis of candlestick information. And you don't want to just buy because prices come off of a support or resistance. You want to implement support and resistance, FIB, supply and demand, candlestick information, Bollinger Bands, everything. Okay, so... I might go over Bollinger Bands um, at a later stage, maybe maybe this video. Guys, Bollinger Bands are very easy, and I think I have gone over it before, but it's simple. Let me just, there's a 21 deviation and a, okay, it's 21 and then 1.6, and then the other one is 21 and then just 2. So say for example with the Bollinger's, all you need for is price to touch the Bollinger. So for example, yeah, price touched the inner Bollinger band and went up. Price touched the inner that's the middle Bollinger, but I wouldn't have seen that as confirmation because I want to only touch these two outer ones. If price touches them or even closes inside of them that strong signal that that it's going to go in your direction. Okay, I mean, you could you could purely just trade off using Bollinger Bands. I mean, look at this. There, touched down, touched here, went up, touched there, price closed below that Bollinger. It still counts as the touch, obviously. Price touched here, pierced right through, closed underneath, went down all the way, didn't touch until there again, would have gone in again. Um, Bollinger's simple, and I have, I think one of the first videos I did, it was based on Bollinger Bands. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to accurately place your stop losses. 
Okay, this is this is the first way. Which to place? It? Oh, this pair is not nice. Okay, you draw your fib as normal. Price bounced off the sixty-one point eight. Okay, price bounced here. Yeah. Now, how you place a stop? This is the first way in which we can place a stop. All you do, you measure from where you started your fib to where to where you, the price bounced off of. So to where you took the trade. So say for example you took the trade at the bottom of this bearish engulf. So that's three seven two pips. So now what you do, that's three hundred and seventy two pips and what price usually does, this is how I got to this number. I was researching and price usually, as you know, it bounces 50% of the way of its current move or its previous move or 61.8 as we know as Fibonacci. Price, this is why we divide it by 40, okay? Because price has, there's, there's a little gray area. Okay, so price won't move 40% above of where you drew your fib and where you enter the price. Okay, so let me show you here. So price from here to here, we've got in here 372. So 372 times 40% is 148. Okay, so you would measure in pips 148. You would put your stop loss more or less on this resistance line. Okay, that worked. Price didn't touch it. Okay, price didn't even come here and touch it again. It hasn't touched it. It only touched it there. Okay, that's where your stop loss would have been hit. But you would have look how much profit you would have made implementing what I taught you guys last week about the um, take profit. You would have stayed in from here until let's just say. For example, sake, 836 pips you would have made. That was from the 30th to that two months and uh, two, yeah, no, that's a month and one, one and a half weeks. Okay, 836 pips. That is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that actually at all. <laughs> okay, so that's the first way in the in which you can place your stop loss. So let's use the same example over here. We draw our FIB, that's where price bounced off. Now, this is the this is probably the, the easiest and most useful way. So what I want you guys to do if you don't already have it, right click on your FIB, add, go add yeah, and then go uh, 0 0.782 and it's a 78.2 78.2 that's fit okay and you go okay that's 78.2 so most of you wouldn't obviously you guys know that prices tends to bounce more off of the 50 and the 61.8 but these are the fib has has zones and don't see it as a zone as in buying or selling I'm saying criteria as in it has its areas so this this is one area okay the 38.2 and the 23.6 is one area. Then the next one is the 50 and 61.8. So how you guys would use this implementing it with your stop loss? If price bounces off your 38.2, your 23.6, if it's in your zone for example sake, you would put your stop loss, so say for example it bounces off your 23.6, but I wouldn't advise that you guys take a trade off the 23.6 so I'm not even going to show you an example of that 38.2 that's one this is in the area of the 23.6 and the 38.2 so then you put it above the next area okay so you put it above the 61.8 okay if price bounces off the 61.8 or the 50 you put it above the 78.2 simple 78.2 that was that's the first, the 40% um, stop loss would have been round about here, okay, just above this resistance. Um, 
and the difference is, I mean, it's it's like 80 pip difference where you would have placed your stop loss. But the main and most important thing is your stop loss didn't get hit. Okay, so that's what you guys need to know is you just need to let your trade run. I can't stress this to you guys enough that you can't enter a trade. You entered a trade for a reason. Okay, why why would you doubt yourself? Why would you doubt your analysis when you thought it was perfect before? Okay, that's what I can't stress enough to to our students is because I we have a stop loss. The the best way to put it is we have a stop loss for a reason. It's there for a reason, guys. Okay, so I don't want to sound harsh or anything, but I just. You will, I promise you, you will make profits if you just let your trades run, okay? If they touch your stop loss, cool, it's fine, you lost a trade, go win 10 more, okay? So, this is a third and final way, and then I'm going to tell you a bit about risk management. The last way is, you know how I always say to you guys, you must broaden your perspective um, by using different time frames. Price bounced off here. Now you go up one time frame. As in the take profit, you go up one time frame to look for resistance or support. That applies exactly the same way as a stop loss does with the um, obviously with the stop loss. Okay, so you would look 